Hello, hello, hello. So this week we're gonna be um, moving the model into its positions and definitely just getting like all the muscle structures and everything like that like in place. Um, I wanted to address one of the questions that was had as far as like why I was using this mesh and going from this shape into uh, this shape, which is the, um, what is it? It's like the adaptive skin of the Z spheres. So the way the Z spheres work is that you can't really model it from this shape, even though you, you want to. The way you, the only way you'd be able to really do that is to do a um, make primitive shapes and just make it like that instead of having this like skeleton like figurine here. So um, you have to go into adaptive skin and then um you actually have to like you get to adjust the density here and then you can finalize it so i haven't finalized it yet um as far as oh, okay like this is what the character is going to be you know um but yeah that's why I, I i have to press the command a to check in between the shapes so i can go back and forth and yeah definitely um i wish i can sculpt off of this but it doesn't allow me to it's definitely like you want this you got to start from like you actually have to go all the way from the beginning and make like circles and cylinders and do it that way so this is the way i'm doing it for now and then i also want to move my arms out a little bit is that is not gonna work wait why is symmetry not on okay well i'm gonna start <laughs> and then um yeah we'll go from there and see where i end up to by the end of this recording all right
hello guys so i just wanted to come back in at the end of this video and just talk about um what i did as far as the mesh goes um i turned it into a adaptive skin so that i can like actually like sculpt on the spheres the shape that i originally had yeah that was like i would have loved to have sculpted on that but when it adapts over it's not really like it changes it to like more of like straight cylindrical kind of like shapes and everything but um yeah i did so what i did was i just built up the muscle forms first um and then after i knew i had like it just about there like i didn't go into too deep just because like it's more so like we're actually building out the model but then i um i corrected some of the positioning and uh then i did the see-through method where i had the model actually behind the zbrush file and then um just position the character into place the way it needed to be and then started softening out a little bit um but making sure i still have my muscle forms before i start going into details which will be for next week so yeah just wanted to um just come back around and say that and yeah i'm excited for next week to be able to like start really defining the shapes and really like cleaning up the character and everything i definitely want to build up on the hand region um the fingers are definitely not done <laughs> uh and i want to uh yeah start dropping in those like details and stuff in the face i'm excited for that too because it's been a while since i worked on the face so i want to see how i would do it in a more realis realistic form instead of stylized so all right i'll see you guys next week